Safari Sam and today we're going on a word scavenger hunt. Now raise your hand if you know what a word scavenger hunt is. You don't? Well follow me. There should be uh, no barriers to learning. So the learning objectives for you today are to make sure that you can understand how a word scavenger hunt works as well as be able to implement it in your classroom. Let's start exploring. A word scavenger hunt is a way to add excitement into the learning process by looking for connections. Hey, I see one now! Let's see if we can find any reasons why a word scavenger hunt would be good for your classroom. Follow me. I found one reason why word scavenger hunts can be good for your classroom. They encourage students to engage with the text beyond just reading. It also encourages collaboration and active learning. Huh. It also encourages creativity and critical thinking. Now that you know why it may be good for your classroom, I bet you're wondering, what are the steps? Let's go find out. Now, first things first, you're gonna need a list of words and to divide your classroom into groups. We've got group one, group two. How's it going, group three? Looking good. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make some requirements, right? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that they know what's expected of them in this word scavenger hunt. So if you have the word tree, you're gonna want them to find either an item, a quote, an image that best represents this here tree. Then they're gonna to have to back it up. That's the key part. After all that, you're gonna want them to review all their findings and then have them presented to the class. You can even have the class vote on which one they think was the best representative for that word or phrase. And at the very end, display them in your classroom. Let's go over to my friend Safari Sally to find out how you can apply it in your classroom. Thanks Safari Sam, I'm Safari Sally. There's a whole world awaiting just for you if you use this instructional strategy, word scavenger hunt, in your classroom. Come on, follow me. I hope Safari Sam gave you a good definition and step-by-step -step process of a word scavenger hunt. Now I'm gonna help you apply it. I'm gonna use an English classroom because that's what I'm good at, but it can be used for anything. Just check this out. So here's the sitch. Say we were in an English classroom, right? And I'm the English teacher and you're one of my groups of students. I would give you a word from something we're reading like Romeo and Juliet. I would give you the word Juliet. You would have to think of either an image or a quote, find it, find it online, use your book, use magazines, something that represents Juliet. Now for me, when I think of Juliet, I think of roses. A rose by any other name would smell sweet. A rose. It's not really a rose, it's an azalea, but you get the gist. So the student who has Juliet could maybe find a picture of a rose online or in a magazine, and find that quote about a rose being any other name being sweet. That shows that the student understands Juliet as a character and can back it up with evidence from the text. Now just because I used English as an example doesn't mean it's only for English language arts. This can be for any subject. If you're in science, you could do a scientist. If you're in math, you could do a type of equation. If you're in history, you could do a war or a leader of a country or even an idea. This is not strictly English, guys. Word scavenger hunts can be used for anything. Remember that a word scavenger hunt doesn't actually require your students to go dig through bushes and through trash cans. It's simply just a way for them to engage with the text and make sure that they can back up their findings and their ideas and thoughts with evidence from the text. It's good in any classroom, trust me. I hope I gave you all the information you need to use a word scavenger hunt in your classroom. If you feel like you could use it in your classroom, give me a Safari Sam. Woohoo! That's great! For those of you who didn't give a big woohoo, that's okay. There's more information to come. And if you have any questions, you can just write a comment and let us know. We're here to help. I hope you had everything you need. Back to you, Safari Sam. I hope Safari Sally gave you all the information you could possibly need on implementing Word Scavenger Hunt in your classroom. But if not, just shoot us a text, ask us a question, or leave a comment. We're always here to help. Hey, what's that? I think I see you using Word Scavenger Hunt in your classroom right now. Have a great day. Before you go, 
Let's review those steps again. First, make a word list. Second, you're going to want to get your class into groups. Next, make sure your requirements and your expectations are clearly laid out. After that, let them go for it. Have them review their material, present to the class, and have the whole class vote if you want a little extra fun. And don't forget, let them put that stuff all over the walls. Let it be a collage or anything. You want, to know, you want them to know that you care about their work. Ha <laughs> ha